Welcome to episode two of Inside Stetson Football, presented by West Volusia Family and Sports Medicine. I'm Kenny Scherlinger, and here to my right is head coach Brian Young. And coach, you get to 2-0, a 49-16 victory on Saturday against Ave Maria. Just take us through uh, your initial thoughts and your win that keeps you undefeated. Well, we're excited about being 2-0. And, uh, you know, the game started off with a great kickoff return. Um, offensively, we did not come out right away and get clicking like we thought we would. and Kind of came out somewhat sluggish a little bit. As the game settled down, we got into our rhythm. And then uh, we started feeling good about ourselves and were able to open the game up a little more and then kind of eventually breaking away to, uh, to help us get to be 2-0. Moving to the offensive side of the ball, Jalen Leary really set the tone early on, put the team on his back and got momentum back on your side. Uh, he almost rushed for 200 yards, um, 190 on the day. So just take us through what your thoughts of your tailback, Jalen Leary. Jalen is a major part of what we do on this team offensively. And, uh, you know, I give our credit to the offensive line as well. You know, they created some holes again this week for Jalen. And, you know, Jalen has that knack of being able to uh, make people miss and run away from them. And so, you know, we had a chance to see that once again this week. He did an awesome job. John Sutter gets his first start as a hatter uh, under center. What did you think from him passing the ball um, in his distribution? Did a great job. At first, we, like I said, we came out somewhat sluggish. You know, we tried to get John to settle down and get into his rhythm. And once he did that, we were able to distribute the ball to, you know, to multiple receivers and get the offense going. He took command of the offense and then, uh, like you saw, you know, we just went down and started scoring and scoring and scoring and scoring. The defense uh, had to get the ball back to the offense so they could score. So what stood out to you on the defensive side of the ball? Who stood out to you uh, in particular? Well, Davion Maxwell was all over the field and, uh, you know, he had help from Ethan Hall at linebacker and, you know, our free safety, uh, you know, Dwight Lawrence had, 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 a, had a good game as well. And so, you know, it was a collective effort again defensively. We came out and, you know, did, you know, our philosophy is to be attacking style defense, and we did that. Offense and defense taken care of, moving the special teams, and uh, really there's only one thing to talk about, that fake punt at the second half as Matt Clements takes it out of his own end zone for 24 yards and a first down, take us through uh, Matt's decision in that successful fake punt. Well, you know, again, we were backed up, you know, in, in a tough situation, but our mentality is to be attacking. And that was our great opportunity for us to, to, to have a chance to attack at that minute. And, you know, it was there and he took it. So, great play. That's going to do it for us on Inside Stetson Football, presented by West Volusia Family and Sports Medicine. I'm Kenny Scherlinger, head coach Brian Young. Thank you for joining us as the Hatters head into a bye week to get set for a road game in two weeks against Princeton University. We'll talk to you next week. Thank you for tuning in to Inside Stetson Football, and go Hatters.